Hey everybody, my name is Evan and I'll be walking you through how my business partner Matt and I designed and installed a line array PA system and built a stage in this barn. We began by laying out the footprint of the stage and made sure the front of the subwoofer would be hanging plumb in line with the front of our finished stage. We threw a laser line across the ceiling and marked locations for our bolt holes. We used M10 steel eye bolts through the 4x6 rafters, and the chain we used was rated for 1,800 pounds. Each side of this QSC system consists of one 18-inch subwoofer and two 12-inch mains. The splay angle is preset by QSC, and it worked out great for our situation. But I will point out we also had a chain in the rear of the bottom main speaker to pull back each side and fine tune the angle. And this really helped get a nice center image and a better phase coherency between the speakers. Okay, now we move on to building the stage. We had a grid of six by six dug fir posts, set them tall, marked level in both directions with our laser lines, and cut them down to height. We then cut one and a half inch deep rabbits in each post to accept our rim joists and center beam assembly. Our joist spacing was 16 inches on center and each joist spanned exactly six feet. We used a homemade jig and two by eight hangers to set our joists. The resulting platform was essentially dead flat. I remember taking the handheld planer about a sixteenth of an inch in one or two spots. Insulation was next. We used R30 craft based insulation and I got on the creeper to roll underneath the deck with a staple gun while Matt set the next back. This was tedious, but it worked. We used a quarter inch thick foam tape on top of our joists to mitigate any chance of the subfloor squeaking. We began with two layers of three quarter inch OSB subfloor, staggering the seams as we went. This process was easy enough and it went a lot faster once we had a platform to stand on. Next was laying out our puck locations. These are two by two by two vibration isolation pucks from Kinetics. And they're widely used in recording studio floating floors, either in conjunction with a wood subfloor or concrete. We used a small dab of silicon to secure the pucks in place while we laid down our steel C studs on top. These C-studs provide a slightly higher isolation performance spec while also giving us ample room to screw in the top layers of the deck, starting with a layer of 3 quarter inch MDF. After the MDF was a layer of 2 pound per square foot mass loaded vinyl. This stuff is incredibly heavy and along with the MDF provides a ton of just sheer mass to the stage. The last layer of our stage sandwich was three quarter inch ACX plywood. So here you can see the entire assembly starting with the rim joist, joist tape, two layers of OSB subfloor, the isolator pucks and R5 damping insulation, steel C studs, three quarter inch MDF, two pound MLV, and three quarter inch ACX top sheet. Okay, so once the stage assembly was complete, we primed and painted the deck, and we also installed a quarter inch foam border that went in between the decking edges and our trim boards and this essentially created a mass spring system in the airspace around the isolator pucks. This also gave us the benefit of keeping lateral movement of the deck top to a bare minimum. 
Here we are installing the barn wood trim to match the existing look around the barn. And after laying down a layer of black carpet tiles, here's the finished product. I hope this video was helpful and informative. Thanks so much.